Okay, this is what I refer to as the over up down table. Uh, to begin with, I am going to use your first equation. You'll see that with a squared sign. Uh, we call this shape a quadratic, or this type of equation a quadratic, uh, where you have something squared. No cube, no square root, but you have a term with an x squared in it, or a t squared, or an r squared, or something squared. Uh, now, what I'm going to do here is quite a magical little table. It's a bit more versatile than an x, y table. Okay? Instead of x, I say I'm going to go over. And instead of y, I'm going to say I'm looking at up and down. Okay? So, I take my equation, y equals x squared, and I pick some x numbers. I could say I go over 1, over 2, over 3. Then since it's x squared, I'm going to go up 1 squared, up 2 squared, up 3 squared. So if I go over, and that means to the right 1, to the right 2, to the right 3, I'm going to go up 1, uh, up 4, up 9. Now if I go over 0, I'll go up 0 squared, which means 0. If I go to the left 1, or to the left 2, or to the left 3, then because negative 1 squared is also positive, I'm still going up. Negative 2 squared is still positive, I'm still going up. And negative 3 squared, whoops, negative 3 squared is positive 9. Okay, so if I go to the right, 1, 2, 3, I'm going up 1, 4, 9. If I go to the left, 1, 2, 3, I'm still going up 1, 4, 9. Let's translate that over here now. We are going to start at 0, 0. And if I go to the left 1, I'm going to go up 1. Sorry, to the right 1, I'm going to go up 1. If I go to the right 2, I'll go up 4. If I go to the right 3, I'll go up 9. If I go to the right 0, I'm going to go up 0. So my starting point has an x on it. Left 1, I go up 1. Left 2, I go up 4. Left 3, I go up 9, even with that one there. And when you're through, your quadratic, when you graph it, gives us a curve looking like that, that we also have another name for. We call it a parabola. Okay? So, that is your very first look at an over, up, down table. Now what we're going to do is take this original equation, and this is the original equation, y equals x squared, and we're going to start playing around with it. Okay, and see what happens when we do things to that equation, y equals x squared, what happens to the graph.